Lauren Bukas, the author of hugely celebrated novel The Shining Girls, is joining me in studio to talk about some very exciting news. Welcome. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Well, you've just won the University of Johannesburg Prize for English South African Writing. Yes. That's um, very exciting. It is. It's a major literary award. And mm -hmm. it was funny because the shortlist came out two days before. Yeah. And, and then suddenly it was like, surprise, we've announced the winner. And I actually found out on Twitter. I got an SMS from someone saying, congratulations. And I was like, oh, what, what are you even talking mm -hmm. about? And I went on Twitter and I saw that it had been announced. That's it's, crazy. It's a stealth prize. They don't want to let the winners <laughs> know, you know. Um, and then it was in the Mail and Guardian. And that was, it, was, it was cool. Awesome. So you didn't even have time to kind of digest it. You were on the short list and then you won. Yeah. That's amazing. So what, what was the prize? The prize is, you know, it's a very prestigious mm -hmm. award, but it also comes with a very nice cash prize mm -hmm. um, of 75,000 Rand, which is fantastic. Congratulations. I know, thank you. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, save it for a rainy day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Lots of those. I, I know I should blow it on something big, but no, I'm going to pay my rent. Okay. <laughs> now, The Shining Girls has, have, has been up for so many awards. It's been shortlisted for the British Fantasy. It's the British Fantasy Awards in the horror writing mm -hmm. um, category. In the UK, yeah. Yeah. When did you find out about that? Well, that was the news I was expecting to be congratulated on that day <laughs> because they did tell me I was on the short list and yeah. I knew that they were going to make the announcement yeah. that day. So I found out the same day I won the University of the Johannesburg Prize. Mm -hmm. More um, organized over that side. Well, I think, <laughs> you know, I, it, it's a big fan base thing and they yeah. rely on their community very much to kind of pull together. So, Do you know when you find out if you win that award? That's in September. Okay. It's also up for the Strand Critics' Choice Award, which is in July. Mm -hmm. um, the old Thiexton, sorry, the Thiexton's Old Peculiar Crime Jeez. Novel Award, which is announced, I think, the shortlist is announced mm -hmm. in July as well. So Now, when you're writing a novel, do you think about awards? Do you imagine that it's going to be nominated for all of these awards? What Does that ever cross your mind? Well, of course it does. <laughs> no, I'm giving you the chance to brag <laughs> here. No, it's, um, you know, you write the best novel that you can, mm -hmm. um, and you write the best story that you want to be able to, that you want to tell. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing to have that kind of recognition, um, and of course it helps sales, and I think yeah. that's, that's probably the, you know, the recognition is amazing, but it also really helps sales, it helps put you out there. Uh, winning the Arthur C. Clarke Award in 2011 changed my mm -hmm. career. Yeah. You know, my book was about to go out of print. Um, wow. I don't know if I would have sold another book after that, and then I won the Arthur C. Clarke Award, and it put me in the spotlight, and mm -hmm. that allowed me to use that as leverage to get a bigger book deal um, and to go international. So this stuff definitely helps. It's amazing for authors. Now, does it, does it scare you a little about, about releasing more books now? Because yes. everyone loves this one so much. It's terrifying. But, um, you know, we all have favorite books of authors. I wish that mm -hmm. David Mitchell would just write Cloud Atlas forever. Just write yeah. variations on Cloud Atlas. <laughs> don't, don't put it, why are you messing around with these other things? I would read that every day. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, you want, you want artists and, and authors mm -hmm. to evolve. You know, I think about Stanley Kubrick, I think about um, Radiohead, yeah. and authors like um, Margaret Atwood, David Mitchell, mm -hmm. writers who write whatever they want to do, and you know that you're in for a certain kind of experience, and yeah. you know that it'll be amazing whatever it is. And it might not be the book that you loved wholeheartedly mm -hmm. last time, but it, it'll be different, and it'll be interesting, and you want, you want writers to challenge themselves. Yeah. So that's what I try and do. I want to come back to The Shining Girls. Yep. Are you planning any sequel, prequel, or spin-off? Uh, I have thought about writing a novella about uh, Nella, who is Zora's daughter, mm -hmm. um, who started trying to put the mystery together herself. Yeah. Um, and I won't get into spoilers, but she wasn't able to complete, uh, complete it. But I think it would be very interesting to look at her as an African-American woman in the 60s mm -hmm. and what she would have been able to get access to and what kind of information she would have been um, exploring. Oh, that sounds very yeah. interesting. So I'd, I'd like to do that at some point. But I'd also like to write a sequel to Zoo City at some point. So, you know, I have like 400 plans and... I want to lock you in a room. Uh, yeah, no, you probably you should. continue writing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, where, where is the door here? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I won't do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, how can people find you online, find out what you'll be up to next, um, and when your novels will be dropping? Um, LaurenBeerkis.com mm -hmm. is my website. Um, and I'm also active on Twitter every day at, at Lauren Bukas. And I've got a schedule up on my website, the links to buy the books direct if you don't know where to find them. Um, you should support your local independent bookstores, but if you can't, there are Amazon links. Um, and yeah. Great. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. <laughs>